Rempe with a big hit. Right now, Bastion is in tough shape. That was Matt Rempe's introduction to the New Jersey Devils. One that earned him a match penalty for a hit to the head and also earned him a target on his back and an expectation to answer for it in their next meeting. And while McDermott wanted it, Rempe turned it down. And then this happened. Rempe again, this time with a hit on Ziegenthaler, catching him high with the chicken wing elbow to the head and McDermott right after him again, but the officials had none of it. And rubbing salt in the wound, Rempe waved him goodbye as he exited the ice. McDermott wasn't impressed. You don't do things like that your first year in the league especially. Um, I lost uh, quite a bit of respect for him tonight. Now this time Rempe would sit for four games as he received his first NHL suspension but after those first two meetings there was clearly bad blood and so tonight as the two rivals met up for the final time this season everyone and their mother knew we were getting Rempe versus McDermott. What we couldn't have expected was 162 two penalty minutes in the opening period six fights a full line brawl eight players ejected from the game and on top of it the coach is going at it it was a wild one so let's see how it went down now as expected before the puck even dropped they were yapping at each other and as the puck dropped so did the gloves but watch here in the corner vc and lazar were actually first to go at it and keep that in mind moving on to be honest tnt kind of screwed up the broadcast keeping it on the tight shots mostly on McDermott and Rempe so it's tough to show properly but going to a wider angle everyone found a dance partner we had VC and Lazar first Gaudreau and Ball second as Rempe and McDermott were next and not to be left out it was Miller with Marino and Truba with Tierney all going at it which with more fights than officials meant we had a full out brawl so of course we'd cut to Shesterkin in the middle of it I mean come on but what a scene while all four other fights were over the two big boys were still going at it and they had to have been exhausted by the end of it as Rempe firing up the bench and we had a lineup to the penalty boxes just look at this what a mess but as they were getting comfy it was the coaches going at it Travis Green and Peter Laviolette in a screaming match and just when you think it's over Green had to have said something as Laviolette takes out the gum and you know he means it now got in his final words and oh yeah still got my gum to boot <laughs> but remember how V and Lazar were technically the first to go at it? Well, that meant every scrap after theirs would fall under rule 46.7. A game misconduct shall be imposed on any player assessed a major penalty for fighting after the original altercation. So anyone not in the original scrap was assessed a game misconduct for being in a secondary altercation as suddenly the box is cleared out. In the meantime, as they sorted that out, Panarin figured he needed a drink. Goes over to Panger between the benches and again, just just a hilarious opening face-off as Rempe was all about it and he's now been ejected in all three consecutive games against the Devils. Insane. And look at this, Lazar making sure his boys got their mitts. But with all of that out of the way now, meant we could finally get to hockey, right? Well, not five minutes in, it was Cooley with a big hit on Smith as Smith fumbling the puck a bit as Cooley got him in the numbers pretty good and the arm went up. But Mercer went at him as him and Cooley now dropped him and we had the six fight in four and a half minutes now after all was said and done mercer would get the instigator as he got a 10 minute misconduct lindgren and smith were also sharing words and so they quickly got a talking to enough all right so finally getting to it let's see how it played out the rangers with the post and just overall they were dangerous as then fox with the pinch shot rebound lafreniere for panarin as they score it's his 45th of the year the most by an undrafted player in over 30 years as msg was rocking but hold on now the devils would challenge with fox pinching was it out it's close but after review it was a good goal and the rangers would go to the power play and while they had a good look here the devils would kill it off but with four to go Noshik would then receive a penalty for cross-checking so all of it meant Kakanen had himself a busy period and just as they killed it Wenberg on net trickles through and they score again Lafreniere with his 26 makes it a two goal game late in the first and while VC had a fantastic chance shorthanded he missed it bad flicks it way over the net and with that, it was about it for the first, so we'll head 
over to the second where it was the Devils who now came alive. Hughes into Palat and they score a one-timer and it's a beauty as he rips it past Shesterkin short side and it was now a one-goal game. The Devils were suddenly buzzing. Brat then to the front and there it is. Smith with his fourth of the year off the bar and in as Laviolette had seen enough. Tries to settle the team but to no avail. It's Brat again to the front again and they score again. The no look backhand finds Heischer and with three straight they now took their first lead of the game. Paired with some key stops on the other end it meant that through 40 the heavily outshot Devils were up heading into the third. And while Kakinen started it where he left off, a broken stick in the Rangers' end meant Kako was off to the races, comes down, and scores. Going glove side, he beats Kakinen as we had ourselves a tied game for the third time. And from here, it could have been anyone's game with huge chances on both ends, but truthfully, the Rangers were the better team. Sustained pressure, and it leads to a penalty. Smith called for the hook, a bit of a weak call, but it was a big moment moment and it's Panarin with the shot off the mask of Kakinen who was definitely a bit shaken up Allen's like oh god not now but he was all right and we'd play on as Panarin for Fox the shot and they score it's redirected in front by Kreider with his 36th of the year and the Rangers with a pair in the third would go up late and they'd hold on to beat the Devils four to three at home what a hockey game they take the series sweep against the Devils in what was a fantastic throwback to old time hockey. I loved every second of it and listen to McDermott change his perspective after the game. Obviously, you know, I'm always going to have a, you know, a lot of respect for him. He's a young kid. Um, he's going to learn and, you know, he's a big, tough, strong kid. So I always respect someone who's uh, doing what they can to stay in this league and he's had a good showing so far. But yeah, that's about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you in the next one.